Greetings family, uh, welcome to our Black Star Pan African Community Office. This is our beautiful logo. Uh, the logo is originally designed by one of our other community members, our good brother Rakim, stood out of Chicago. And uh, Azibo came in and painted this. I was always impressed. I was like, Azibo, I didn't know you were the artist. I know you went to art. I know you got like, that, uh, that degree in like, art and design and everything. But uh, I didn't even know you had any to read this big look so beautiful. So this has been like, an incredible symbol of our Black Star Pan African community. You know, always gotta have the Black Star, you know, because we're inspired by Marcus Garvey, and uh, you know, Ghana is the Black Star nation. We got the Black Star there, the Ghana flag, and then you know, beautiful sustainable development. You know, so, and you know, you gotta have the sun to make it all work. So, uh, Jahat is a tropical community, uh, warm all year round, right? That's right. That's uh, the coldest to get is probably like right now. It's not cold. <laughs> Yeah, so family, uh, this is Azibo, our Vice President of Operation here, rolling down the office. If you ever need to, you can come closer. You can come closer. If you ever need uh, to come by the property and see it and check it out, uh, you can always make arrangements with myself to connect with Azibo to where it will take you to see the, the property and show you around. Uh, that you don't have to be uh, serious because, uh, you know, we're serious people and that's why we share with you what we're doing on this video. Uh, so we have two of our other members. Uh, uh, no, we have the, uh, uh, which, what name you want to go by? You want to go by the name of the alias? My name is Prince. That's uh, the name I go by, sir. Alright, so, can I call you Prince Charles? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our uh, Prince Charles. <laughs> and then we have, uh, you know, I might as well call you King Charles. <laughs> uh, my good, uh, other good brother, uh, Charles, uh, these are two of my best brothers. I really appreciate them because when you're doing a development project like this, uh, we're you know, where all of us have base experience, but we have a vision. It's uh, you need uh, pioneers with you that are open to understanding that uh, we have to build everything from the ground up. So this is one of our latest brothers that are literally looking to uh, get building going. And um, can't forget our good uh, brother Mohammed. Mohammed is uh, our consultant and our consultant uh, on this project, and he has given us the best advice, and he's always there to help us with damage control. So. These are things that we have to work out, uh, but this one, see if y'all want to talk about anything or share anything of, as far as the excitement of just trying to, us working together to figure it out because we have a lot of things to figure out, especially the funding, you know what I'm saying? We need that you know, cash flow to build what we need to build. And if we'd have had the funding by now, we'd have had that whole town design. So I'm telling people that uh, we have everything else and we could have also recruited the best engineers, builders, That's and so right. on. That's right. So yeah, brother Charles, you want to say anything um, to, let people understand that, you know, uh, what we're looking to do. Hey, it's definitely uh, building from the ground up. And it's going to take some patience, uh, take some ingenuity, and take working together for sure. Oh, without a doubt. Definitely take some working together for sure. And, uh, brother, when are you going to call me and start digging your trenches? <laughs> I've already started. <laughs> you already started? And I see those same it, depends, it depends what kind of trenches are you refer to. <laughs> <laughs> the trenches to put your walls up. Oh, okay. okay. But family, okay. I just like I see yeah. myself, I have property here and uh and my dad out there, because that's what I was looking for. Oh right. yeah. Bring him through, bring him through. So I'm gonna bring him through? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I I forgot to get him in some pictures, so we'll get him in there. But uh, my family uh, we have uh, you know we have you know five plots, uh, Charles is on the same uh, plot location as us, like you know. I call it my Jamaican family, so we have eight plots together. And um, we're figuring out how we're gonna build, so when we get to the land, we're gonna look at the layout, look at what needs to be done. Because one of the things is, you really wanna put things in order before we start doing a whole bunch of building. Uh, so I got some guys here that got some background in um, basically uh, infrastructure. Uh, so we're gonna take the best advice and we're gonna look at how things need to be done. And then we have some financial geniuses here who are gonna get us all these incredible uh, grants and connections so we can build the finance to get it done. So since uh, we got this project going right, it was right before this COVID uh, stuff started. So we've been hanging in there and now that it's kind of you know chilled out and we have more people come to Ghana, uh, we're here to take it to that next level. All right. And so my dad is coming, uh, I think he has the wrong shirt on. The shirt says Liberia, but we're not in Liberia family. We're still in Ghana. <laughs> Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour. If you come on, I meant to tell you, you have the wrong shirt on today. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so um, this is my dad right here and uh, Charlie and we're, so you got a bunch of Charlie and Charles, right? Yeah. But uh, we, have, we, have, we have a few plots 
And then that's our goal. Our goal is to you know, work to where we can build something uh, in our level of comfort. And that's why I showed the video earlier with all the flaws in this project here, uh, to let you know that uh, we're not coming to duplicate the same situation. We're coming to elevate things because you know, I, I know a lot of people who literally want to live in Africa. But it's, you know, it's uh, the disclaimer for them, or the, the situation for them, or I should say, uh, the deal breaker for them uh, would be the fact that they don't have the level of comfort that they're looking for. Right. And we had, you know, we had one person here that moved here and we realized, we, we learned that lesson as Eva Bro, right? That, what, the, that, that person complained about all the little things that you don't complain you don't about in yeah, you know, so that's what I'm saying to you, fam. We just be clear with you that uh, that's why we're building this development, so more and more of us can live in a town and community with what you're used to. That way, instead of being stressed out every day, you're focusing on helping the youths, working with our children, working with the country, uh, competing with the foreigners, and you know, from there, I'm not saying it's that easy, but that's the biggest thing that holds us back. So yes, sir. so how you feeling? You excited? You want to see? Yeah, man, it's been a long journey. Oh no, we're gonna go up there. You know, you know, we have a lot of uh, elders, so you know, they like to use the restroom a lot. So we have to make sure we do these stops. <laughs> so, family, um, uh, in closing, uh, our goal is to build an incredible energy. And um, instead of, uh, if you have those background, you have those connections. You know, we'll put the time into coming to Africa, and we're learning to do this, uh, and we're doing it. You know, for us as a people. So. Um, for those of us who can uh, show some love and help us or connect us or introduce us to people that we can work with to get uh, the project done and part people that can be future partners. Let me give you an example of a future partner. Future partners could be people who, uh, or who can just develop homes and create a mortgage system or create a loan system. And you know, it could be partners who help build certain infrastructure or telecommunication or power system. Mm. Um, so if you're, you know, you're out there, Reach out to us and link us, and uh, let's work together and make it happen. Because from here, once we design what we're doing here, you know, then you have the rest of Ghana. How much of our people that's still in different communities, and they realize that okay, I build my house, but then I don't have an infrastructure and things like that. So those are things that we're looking to really talk about, uh, especially on this journey. Uh, so family, once again, the journey continues, and this is Bomani signing off, uh, and this is our. Um, this is our last year journey shirt, uh, Ghana May 2023, uh, but it's uh, July 2024. And just let you know, family, we're working at it. So uh, don't be a hater, support us. And uh, if you can't uh, support us, don't be a hater. Appreciate the energy, family. Uh,